Hey, what's going on guys? In this video, gonna be reviewing a project called Virtual Protocol. Its coin has only been around two months and in the last, what, February 5th to the 16th, 11 days or so, it's done a little over a 4X. It's got 46,000 followers over on Twitter and it is a decentralized protocol that creates co-owned, human curated plug and play gaming AIs. More on that in a minute, but I wanna start with the team and how this sort of started. This project before becoming virtual protocol was actually Path DAO. So they did a one-to-one -to -one token migration, more on the to tokenomics of that later. And it was founded, one of the co-founders is Jansen Tang. And he had this to say over in Telegram, the core team himself included our graduates from Imperial College London and Cambridge, around eight of us, and then 15 more hires across the board. Previously, he and his co-founder were running a gaming DAO, investing across Web3 gaming projects. We then set up a venture studio arm to build at the intersection of blockchain and consumer apps. That's where they started building AI consumer applications, but realized two major problems. There need to be a Shopify solution for AI in games, and value flow is broken. People that contribute to AIs don't get paid for the contributions. So that's when they made the pivot to anchor into a decentralized AI and gaming project, which is what virtual protocol is today. They've since expanded the team with three PhDs in the fold, one from Imperial, one from Imperial and Harvard, and one is a professor at a national university of Singapore. You can go and check out his LinkedIn and follow the company uh, if you want to. So they do have a fully doxed team. Let's walk through their main website. An AI metaverse protocol that is building the future of virtual interactions. The virtual protocol functions as a decentralized factory for producing diverse AI entities capable of text, voice, and motion responses for various virtual environments such as games or online spaces. And I'm very sure for eliminating YouTubers. And more than one person can own each AI. So this isn't like you're making a video game character necessarily just of yourself, although they do have one function that is like that. But you create these AIs. If that AI goes and earns money, you can actually stake into that AI and earn a revenue share. It gets more development. We're going to go a little bit more into that. On the core here, they use an AI character that probably has an OF account as well. So let's say that this AI agent is a sales agent with a 90% record at closing sales. She is stored on a blockchain and you can see she's got some, uh, some stats here earning a 20% APR on what is staked. Character and soul, 32 contributors there. Voice and sound, 18 contributors. Visualization, domain and expertise. So you've got all these contributors to these single AIs. And there are three types of these AIs. You've got IP, intellectual property, character mirror. So like this is John Wick, a function specific AI, like a sales agent or something like that. And user mirror AIs. So this is where you would create somebody or an AI that looks exactly like you, which is kind of interesting because it still looks like there's 32 possibly contributors to this AI. So what happens is, and you can see the flow on the left side of the screen, somebody is paying for the chat box and then revenues from that go over into that specific AI character. And this is what that might look like. So we've got this virtual specific uh, AI model right here and it's, chapped in, it's tapped into companion chat and AI NPCs. And that's where people are paying money for the use of these. And then that gets tapped into the IP contributors, voice data contributors, and all of that sort of thing. And they say here, think of it as creating digital characters that can do anything from acting like a character from a movie to helping you write a horror story or even being a digital version of yourself. So that's the premise. Hopefully that made sense. AI characters that you can plug into different applications in real life. On to the tokenomics here then. The token is virtual. And it is mostly a utility token for transactions, governance, and staking. But you're gonna have more than just a virtual token itself. You can have virtual specific tokens, and that means the specific AI character is, is how I'm imagining that. So these tokens will offer stakeholders a more focused investment and engagement opportunity with individual virtuals. This is how some of those tokens are used. Some of them are used to incentivize development. Holders of the token also directly influence the development of virtual personas by staking to certain personas. 
We've also got governance of the treasury. There is a buyback scheme. A portion of revenue from dApps using virtual personas is used to repurchase virtual tokens. And then there's also potential airdrop benefits. And I found this helpful. This almost really explains the project if you were to want to participate. This is what it would look like. First, you're gonna want to actually buy some of the token and then stake your token. But you need to choose what persona you want to stake it to. So that's which AI character you wanna stake it to. Because the ones that you stake it to, they get more emissions from the treasury and that means more development is gonna happen for that particular AI. So if it's generating a large APR, you want a lot of development because you're staking there. So it's, it's really sort of picking your team in a way. Then you can either become a validator or delegate your tokens, participate in the governance, benefit from buy pressure from the DAO, buying back some of these virtual tokens, and then receiving airdrops. A dApp associated with the protocol, let's say, launches its own tokens. You as a staker might get airdrops for those dApps. Now into some of the nitty gritty about the tokenomics here. This is the distribution. So you've got ecosystem treasury and liquidity. This is basically protocol owned. So that's 40%. Although in the telegram, I did read that they bought back about 6% of the tokens from the treasury recently. So they own about 46% of this distribution right now. So about 54% of this 1 billion tokens is actually publicly distributed. Although there are no lockups to worry about, it is all fully vested. And this is because it started out as Path DAO, and they raised some funds back in December 2021. One and a half cents, the seed, there's no price there, the IDO is one and a half cents, and a, a funding round, a, a public one, an IDO for 66 cents. Right now the price is just four cents, and from what I was told in a telegram, it was a one-to-one -one distribution. So those public participants are down pretty bad, as far as I can tell. They've got $18.6 million in the treasury, and they're not holding any of the own their own token, really, except for this path liquidity pool right on ETH, which is gonna be 50-50 but it's in USDC or uh, mostly in USDT and some ETH. And this is the cash amount, 3.7 in the cash amount. It looks like it looks like they've got 8.6 million in USDC tokens. So I'm kind of don't know the difference between having USDT and USDC in the cash side of things and having $8.6 million in USDC is that not still just considered cash? I don't know. And then $5.7 million worth of NFTs, which is wild to me. And I imagine this is where some of the funding is for the development for this team, which remember from his thing, there are eight core developers, plus 15, that's 23, plus three more PhDs. So that's about 26 people. I'm not really sure where this fits in compared to the other artificial intelligence, you know, smart agents like Autonomous and Morpheus AI, but I suppose it's kind of close. If you have an AI character that can go and do sales calls and interact in the real world, is that sort of the same thing? Let me know what you guys think of this one. If you wanna track my portfolio, there's a link to that down below. If you're still here, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next video.